When you introduce both as a footballer and a prince in the same sentence, it probably raises many eyebrows and turns multiple heads your way. Attracting just that kind of attention has become routine for Fai Bokia, Chonburi FC's winger who happens to be the royal descendant of the Sultan of Brunei Jerusalem, His Majesty Sultan Haji Hassanal Bokia. From dubbing him the world's richest footballer to declaring that he had a net worth of an estimated $20 billion, the media narrative has significantly misrepresented the man behind the story. We'll give you his side of the story today. Ahead of the 2022 to 2023 Thai League season, Mainstand International made the trip to Chunbri in order to hear from the man himself. Who really is Fai Okia? What is the story of this aspiring footballer? Find out in this interview. I grew up abroad, but um, I was born in LA. Um, me and my family, we didn't spend much time there. Kind of, I forgot how long, but it wasn't more than a year, I would say. And um, we ended up resulting to growing up in England. I think at the time was on my parents' side was more for the education and stuff. So I moved there when I was really young, so I would say about four, three, four. And I've been there since until now, obviously. I can't remember the ages, but I would say like nine, ten. That's just like my locals. It was down the road from my house. But so I was there for about, I think about a year, two years. And then it was still local. I, I moved to Newbury. It was still like a local club. Just played for fun, you know. We were still at school down the road. I was enjoying my football then, you know. Like just relax with my friends. We all would join the same team. To be honest, like I, I used to watch a lot of videos of Brazilian Ronaldo. I, I feel like I, I, I dictate a little bit of my game towards him. The way he plays, the way he's very direct. And I used to watch a lot of videos of him when I was younger. And I always wanted to play like him. So he would he would be the one that, not, not copy, but like try to implement a lot of things into my game. It would be him, yeah. At the time for my for my local teams, I, I was playing well. Like I would, I would score a lot of goals every game. Um, I forgot the exact story, but we wasn't happy with something that was going on at the club. Reading was, was not far from me, it was local. So I wanted to make a move there, but at the time I had compensation to Southampton and I was young and it was hard for Reading to pay the compensation at the time. So what happened was I was, I was training and playing at Reading, not officially signed. I was still on contract at Southampton. So obviously me being a bit naive at that age, I didn't know that you can't just jump around while you're on contract at clubs, you know, like I'm like 13, 14, 15. And my mum and dad, they, were, they are into sports, but they didn't know too much about football because I'm kind of the first one in the family that you know I mean took it at any decent level. So for some reason I don't know like the games leading up to me I wasn't playing well, and we had a game a four Reading against Chelsea, and at the time Chelsea's age group was very very strong. It was the strongest at the club by far. They won everything. It's the age group with Tammy and Abraham and Fikayo Tomori. And as a young player in England, everyone kind of looked up to the players at Chelsea, you know because they were like the best. They won every youth tournament. It was just a normal game. I, I went there, we lost 8-0, 9-0, but it was the best game I played, one of the best games I've ever played in my life. I showed a lot of what I could do, and director at Reading at the time wasn't happy He was because he knew that it, normally if, someone play, if you play against Chelsea and you, you play very well against them, they normally bring you in. That's the way they were, because they said they didn't sign a player in that age group for five years until me. So that group was like very like solidified, you know, there was not many people coming in, coming out of that group. I got a call to come in, so I got offered a deal at, on that weekend. Even at the time, it was, it's not like now where a young player, like they're pushing more youngsters at the time, it was, it was really difficult, but I would have always said yes because the experience I got out there was, was unbelievable, you know? Um, funnily enough, I, I did have, I did know that I wanted to, to leave Chelsea because at the time, as I said, it wasn't like now. It was very hard for, for a young player um, to go through to first team. And obviously, me at a young age, you hear about the things that the loan system at Chelsea, how many players they have on loan. As a young player, I didn't want to like get into that sort of, you know, that loan system. So I decided I wanted to leave. I was starting to look at other clubs like for the last few months of my time at Chelsea. I, was, I, I did do, I think I did two, three trials. I was at West Ham and a few others, which I can't remember, I think Stoke, if that was it. Um, West Ham were interested, but so funny enough, they, they, they were interested. I think it was the next week I would have tried, probably signed something. 
from what I can remember, but then I got a phone call and Leicester were interested and I think I was liking what they were saying to me and like they kind of, they had like a, a plan um, based out for me throughout the years I was there and, and yeah, so obviously I, 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 chose that, I chose that club. Oh, it was amazing, um, very professional. So I was in the, I was in the under 23s. Whereas when you're at Chelsea, it's, it's, you're quite, um, the, the first team has, has one side section and the, the youth team and the under 23s are in the other section. Whereas Leicester was kind of like all mixed in together, you know? So it was kind of the first time that I was involved in, in that environment of like um, seeing all the players, you know, that play on the weekends for the main team. And yeah, so at the time it was really good. Things didn't go 100% as planned when I was there, but obviously I took some positives from it for sure. I was there quite a while. I had about, I would say about three or four offers after Leicester um, from bigger clubs than Maritimo, La Liga clubs, but I can't name the club, but for when, what they were talking is they wanted me to go on loan to like the second division and yeah. things like that. And at the time my head was still like, I want to play, you know, I want to play at the highest level I can. And I, I wasn't, I wasn't too keen on going on loan. So um, Maritimo said to me, listen, you come here, you'll play. So obviously I said, listen, I just want to do, I, I want to be here for a year. And the main thing for me is to play. I don't care about anything else. Obviously that didn't happen. And um, re definitely regret that moving there, but I guess it made me stronger and um, I just stuck at it, you know, I, I kept my head up um, no matter what it was. I wasn't, I wouldn't say I was uh, enjoying my football much as I wasn't playing, but I kept strong, you know, I worked hard every day and I said to myself that, listen, like, keep training, keep training hard, you get your chance and I just kept my head down, you know. So, um, yeah, it, it's tough and, and um, it's definitely tough and I feel like um, there was a lot of, si uh, there was a lot of um, politics to do with as well, why Murray Timo did want me. I didn't feel like they were being fully honest, and um, but that's a different story, and it's just in the past. But definitely made me stronger, definitely made me work harder and keep my head down, and that that didn't change for sure. But yeah, I, I definitely made the right decision to leave. I had another, I would say, I think it was another two years left in my contract. Um, they changed uh, presidents at the time, Maritimo, so I went in there and they understood my situation and they let me go. So I, I'm grateful for that because I did have another two years, and it wouldn't have done me or the club any good for me to be there any longer, you know. Obviously that wasn't in the plans, I never had in my head to come to Asia. So I sat down with my agents and, and my advisors and, and, and my family members and I just said to them, listen, like there were still other offers and I said, I can't risk going to another club, them signing me for reasons outside of football and not play and waste another year or two years of, of my career. I said, I can't do that. I said, I need to think this through. So there was offers, but I just said, listen, I want to play. That's the main thing. I said, I don't care about anything else. I said, I just want to play week in, week out and, and show people how I can play, you know, because no one's seen me play. I haven't played for so long. And everyone agreed. So my agent came to me with, with an offer from Chombury. I know a little bit about the Thai league, to be honest. I do have friends playing here, three or four friends playing here. So I do know a little bit about it. Yeah, so that, that was kind of the main reason why I came, was to get game time and show everyone that you know, what I can do on the pitch, you know? Firstly, I'm really grateful for, for Chombury to give me and the coach to give a platform to, to show what I can do. Um, I thought I performed well in the six months that I was there, but I also feel like not making excuses, but I didn't play the first half of the season. I didn't play at all. I was still trying to fine tune my, my feet and get fit and everything during the games. And um, it, I got some assists, but I think I can do much better, you know, for, for, um, personally. So I hope this season with the preseason I'm doing now, I feel like I can have a really good season. You know, I'm definitely excited for it. I would say it has affected my career within club in Europe, definitely the last club I was at in Portugal, but um, it definitely has affected it, for sure. Seen it clear as day, but that's kind of why I made the decision that I want to play and that was the most important thing. I don't care about anything else. I mean, whatever people write and everything, I would say I'm, I'm just, I'm a very simple person, you know, the same schedule kind of every day. I like to focus on football, you know, I don't like to focus on anything outside. Anyone I think any differently, they're, they're wrong, you know, so I, that's, that's just me to be honest. I'm just focused on my football at the moment. This season, really, I'm excited for the season to start because I feel good right now and hopefully I can have a good season, you know.